Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to, welcome back to my channel, my Michael S10 Shopping Garage. I am the creator, Mike Hal, ends with an E. And this morning, we're going to be re greasing, oiling the tension pulley, tensioner pulley pulley on my O10 Aveo. 152,000 and change mileage on the clock all going great all modifications are doing great and please give me thumbs up like subscribe notification bell and you'll be notified of all upcoming new videos this will probably be the last one for the year hopefully not but probably will be now i'm going to turn the phone around my video camcorder and show you what i've been doing As you can see, the pulley's in the vise, clamped down snug, rag around it. Now, this bolt that holds the pulley onto the tensioner is a 13 mil. The one that bolts the tensioner to the timing cover is a 11 mil. That's all it takes. I just snug it down good. Now, onward. Oh, by the way, the bolt that holds the pulley onto the tensioner is left-handed thread. So be careful. Which means as you would normally tighten it, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, as a lot of people call it, to remember this, is as you would screw on a normal bolt, it actually comes out, untighten it, it screws in. That's how that works. Okay. Now, the bearing wasn't squealing, hadn't locked up. Yay, luckily. And no, it's not loose, not squealing, and no pitting. All plus. I have delivery to use some 020 full synthetic oil. This is the first time I'm doing this, so this is testing to me, but as I've said it <clears throat> earlier in this video, or at the start of it, all my modifications have succeeded and working. And I took some swap meat grease to use. And here's what I've done. Just like back in the day, except these bearings you just can't take out and grease them in a bearing greaser. Which I've done a video prior to this one to show you how I do it. These bearings can't be done that way. Unfortunately, or I've already done that. And so far on my O10 Aveo, that rear bearings are greasable, front hub bearings are not. And I re-grease the rear hub bearings every two years. This one I'll do every year. And the front ones, uh, 130, 150,000 miles. They didn't go up, but they were getting a little slack in them. I'll press them out, press new ones in. So yeah, one OEM rear bearing, one new rear bearing, both been re-greased. And the front ones have been replaced for the hub in my Aveo. So, with screwdriver and this, these grease, this grease seal is small, dainty, and easily destroyed. So be very careful. Gingerly take it out. And this is the pick hook, hook I should say, to get it out. Take your time, if you go to the extent that I do, and lightly to the edge of it, under it, it's going to bend a little, but don't yank it out or it's destroyed and they're not replaceable. I can't find them anywhere. That's all that is right there. And to give you a little bit better view and picture of this. 
That's all the seal that there is. And this is the front one. Yeah, it don't take much. Okay. I did the greasing and the oiling the best that I could. Oil under it, degrease it, oil again. Take my finger, turn the race, inner race a little bit. You can see it don't take much to do it. Work it in a bit and put this back in. So here we go. I'm going to wipe the seal off and I'm going to turn the camera back around and let's get this thing back together and back on the car. So give me just a second. How I got the oil down in there. This is old school. And it's got a siphon. I just let it drip down in there. That way oil don't get over everywhere. And this is full synthetic oil. Fights heat a lot better than conventional oil by far. So let me get this seal in and let's see what we got. Okay, Doug. Be right back. Now this one I'm going to use to reinstall the seal. Lead, uh, lead, aluminum rod. At um, right about a half inch. And a brass. Basically drift pin. Flea market. PPG, Good Guys Rod and Custom, Columbus, Ohio. Bought the set years ago. It doesn't take much. Get it centered. And in it goes. little bit of a press fit, which is a plus. And just a little bit of insurance here. This is why you have to go from the outer race to the inner race. And it just evens the seal all the way around. Just lightly press in, you got it. Now, wipe this excess off. Now I have gone to the auto stores and cannot get the pulley by itself or alone. Tensioner and pulley and the average cost is $160 to $180. Just so I can get the pulley. I did want to change the tensioner because it still works good. I'm not going to PM that just yet. So what I'll do when that goes and I'm close to home, nothing breaks or gives way. Uh, at home or while I'm at the house, at the shop, garage, I'll swap it out for anything cat a catastrophe happens, hopefully. But you never know, out driving around and something locks up, hell it just does, and hopefully you don't destroy anything. So now, let's take this out of the vise. I'll give it a good cleaning out to get all the oil residue off. Now a good sign oil is getting through is the back side or the inner part of the race and seal. You can see the oils come all the way through it. That's always a plus for, for this application. Wipe it off. That will be a bit better than that. There we go.
And the inner seal is just as dainty and tangible to get out as the front one. Like I said, this is the first time me doing this. So test and tune. See how it goes. And this is has the same wear and tear that motor has on it mileage-wise. 152,000 and change on the clock. So really nice. And I've also taken some... If I can get it up here, of course this will be backwards. 320 emery cloth and some 317 emery cloth. And like on a crankshaft, give it a light polish job just to clean her up a bit. All's good. Now if the bearing itself would have been pitted and sticking. I'd have bought the whole assembly and swapped it all out. Can't find a single pulley that fits my car or the other cars, 09 to 11. I think it also goes back to <clears throat> 04 and up. Check on the 04 and up to 09. 07, I, do, I think it fits. But this seems to be, to me, the oddball. The ones I've bought bigger not the same size even this is different they won't fit on I'll leave it the pointer here they fit around this not a one that I bought fits this or it's too big in diameter so <clears throat> I decided to redo this the OEM one See how long she goes, because I previously, over this past weekend, taken this apart and greased it, and I put, oh, 100 miles on it, and it worked like a charm. I just upgraded a bit, more oil, grease, and said every year I'll take this off and do it until she finally goes. It's nothing lasts forever, so eventually I'll have to swap this out. Can't even buy the bearing for it, gotta buy the whole thing. So, that's the situation. Okay. Oh, yes. And on the inner one, the... Oh, uh, how can I put it? What the bearings actually fitted, because they're not... The bearing ball bearings are not loose. They're fitted into a plastic-type neoprene plastic that holds the bearing. Which reminds me of the same material or equivalent to that the back in the day timing cam gears aluminum gear nylon coated teeth that's just a disaster waiting to happen I've changed those so many times back in the day to keep the timing from blowing apart and bending valves valves stay open when, when they shouldn't be intake valve compress and compress the stroke oh they kiss that's how that happens with those types of gears and the plastic and uh, nylon gears we called them and the aluminum gear itself they put them in the motors particularly specifically that I know of GM to keep the noise down on the motor so that's what holds the bearings inside this so let's get this back on and back together okay Step down, take this, take the rag out, get the tensioner, oh, I get this back down where we see what I'm doing here. Don't need to clamp it too tight, this is aluminum, it'll snap. Okay, I did put a little, and actually, you see where the threads look like they're backwards? Not because I got the camera backwards. The threads are backwards. They're left-handed. Let me give you a better shot at this. Okay. To the right. The pulley to the tensioner bolt. Look close, see the pitch angle 
of the thread on that bolt. It's left-handed. Look at the pitch angle of this thread. It's right-handed. Screws in, screws out. It's normal. Right-hand thread, left-hand thread. There is your difference. Okay, let's get this back together. Okay, here we go. Back together. As I said, as you would normally put um, right hand thread out, left hand thread goes in. Counterclockwise get in, clockwise to get out. And 13 millimeter. And all I do is snug this. Spin it, because it's got the bush, non-crushed bushing. See what we got. Yeah, I was taking it out. Now back in, snug down. Oh yeah. Smooth as silk. So a little snugger. Because it was a bear to get loose. So nothing's turning that shouldn't be turning. Nice. I guess the measure on torque uh, foot pounds, three foot pounds, or probably about so 120 uh, inch pounds. That's guesstimation. I just snug it. And there we are. It is all good and done. Now, for the final cleanup touch up. I took the one or the 320 and give it a clean up on the pulley surface the belt rides on which is serpentine belt the smooth side of the belt goes on this pulley I done I uh, polished the pulley up like polishing a crank and there we have it we've got it y'all and there it is What the doctor ordered, figuratively speaking. I'm actually anxious and curious to see how far this goes till it actually does go where the tensioner just doesn't keep the belt tight. So it's the procedure, same procedure, self-explanatory for taking this off and putting it on. And this offset has to go in the offset in the timing cover for when this bolt goes in the timing cover to attach this to the timing cover this goes in the slot this can't turn tighten it down good and tight don't be careful don't strip it because the threads in the timing cover are aluminum I just give it a good snug and that's all I do And to actually get this to move, I use this because the left-handed thread. You'd also use this to do it. Actually, technically, that's what it's for. Because I don't think the spring inside connects to this. Because it just don't look it. Because this hole or divot doesn't go all the way through. So that's how that works. It doesn't hurt this to get this to turn for the tensioner to tighten the belt. I put tension on it. But that's what this is for. So I'm going to use this to turn this. Either or. But I strongly suggest just to use this. But I've used both. 
So I'm going to use this to do it with. So that's all for now. Off and on. Easy peasy. No big hurry. And take your time. So once again, <clears throat> excuse me, to all my subscribers and new subscribers, welcome and welcome back. Hope this helps and saves money and time. It all works for me. And like and subscribe, thumbs up, and notification bell. So, <clears throat> upcoming holidays, have a safe, blessed one. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day. Thanks, everyone. Have a great one.